Hey guys, what's up? This is Joey, and today we're bringing an episode that's like a little bit different from Survivors and Infected. It's pretty much how to make and run a guild. Now, I've created a guild. It's called Zomba Nation Nation, and we're sitting about 44 people. Got a few really good active people, but some people lost their beta, so they're not able to play. But it's it's running pretty good. I'm happy with our results so far. But I just want to, if you guys are interested, maybe with the future... When it does global release, when we everybody else is able to get it, um, I just want you guys to have an option of like you know knowing how to make and run a successful clan if you're not wanting to join mine or you want to start something with your friends. So really, one of the first things you're gonna to have to worry about is your guild name. I mean, that's one of the main things people are gonna be searching for. It. That's what people are gonna see. People want a good guild name to look at and want to join. You want something unique and creative that hasn't been done for done before. Now, for mine, I did Zomination Nation just because that is what is in my channel name and everything, but try to get something really unique and cool, you know? Something that you like, something just, you know, something new, fresh, cool. So the next thing is once you get your um, guild set up, you're going to want to put in a good description, you're going to want to set goals, you're going to set um, requirements and things like that. But before you like start setting something too harsh, you want to find some members. Now, currently, one of the only really good ways to find new members is going on global or finding friends that may have the game. Now, if you have any friends that have the beta, definitely try to get them in your guild. But if you don't have any friends at the game yet, you're probably going to have to stick to global. But you're going to want to go to global. You're going to try to, you don't want to just say, join my guild, join here, f check me out. I have a cool guild. You're going to want to give them a good reason to join your guild. Don't just say, join here. Say, like, hi, I'm so and so. I have a very active guild. We're growing steadily. I mean, just give people reasons to join your guild. Just don't be like that annoying person that says, join me. Really give them a good reason for them to join your clan. So, your guild. What am I saying? <laughs> Getting confused with Clash of Clans, guys. Guild, 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 guild. So, that's when you're recruiting. You're wanting to find those guys on Global that, you know, you just want to give them a good reason to join you. So once you start growing a little substantial amount of people, you're going to want to find that person that can be your officer or, well, here, let's go through it really quick. We have three different ranks in your guild. You have recruit, officer, and your leader, which would be you. But your officers have options and powers to promote, kick, things like that, start raids on LA or clan raids like that, but things like that. Um, <clears throat> so along those lines, that's kind of like the ranking system of your guild. But also things are run by XP, so when you, you know... Okay, wait, let's slow down here. Let's look at... Let's slow down. Let's go back. We're at guild numbers. You're going to want to find someone that can help you out when you're not on. So we're looking at the officer spot. Now, in my clan, I currently have someone who's extremely active. I trust them. They help me run the guild successfully named Legion. Really helpful guy. Um, awesome. Top in my clan. Awesome. He's my officer. He helps out a lot. But just find someone you can trust and that will help you run the clan, get it up and running. So right now, I have got I started out with a large number of people, but we ended up getting up to like about, we're getting close to 50, but I ended up, start I turned it into an application-only guild so I can have a better group that are trying to come into the guild. I don't want just a bunch of randoms that are just low-level that aren't going to be active that just want to come in for the perks. So now that I've actually mentioned perks, let's get into that. Your troop, Your guild has a level. Now, as your guild gets to a higher level, it looks more appealing to people because they have better perks. Now, for me, my guild is currently level 7, and we have some of the perks unlocked. So the first one is you grant you messages of the day when you reach level 2. Next one is you can lower the stamina regeneration. You can increase the chance of finding rare units. You can discount the unit leveling. There's just tons of things that come with perks. So when you have a higher level, it looks more appealing to people. They want to join your guild. So work on really leveling up as much as you can. But, I mean, let me think. I'm just trying to think of any other different tips I can give for creating a guild. Um, make sure you have a good message today. Maybe schedule someone you're going to have raids so everybody can get on and plan on raiding with you. Because you want to get as far as through the tiers as possible. And really, that's just about it for what I have to say. Uh, if I do have any other tips, I'll probably just throw them out in some of my videos. But, I mean, those are just some of the real tips that I have for creating a guild. So... I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Hey, guys, what's up? Uh, I just want to add one more thing. I noticed this after I finished making the video and everything. 
I wanted to add this one thing. It was um, when you're in your guild, you want to keep it as active. You want to be talking as much as you can. You want to get your people involved. You want to make them feel welcome in your guild. You just want to keep everybody involved, talking and stuff like that. You know, have fun in your guild. Get to know your members. Don't just, you know, get to know where they are. Ask them questions. Talk about sports. I mean, just, you know, get to know them. Mesh as a group, you know, just get together. Uh, that's just, you know, one thing I wanted to add really quick. I feel like I forgot that. Just really get to know your members and stuff like that. But that's about it, guys. <laughs> now I'm done. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video later.